I am Isis. Dear ones, I come today with so much love in my heart to speak to you with a few reminders about you. Are you going to wake up to the fact you are utterly beautiful beyond words and a child of God who is deserving of unconditional love every day, abundance every day, joy, laughter, creativity, peace and good health. This is the first thought that crosses your mind before you reach for your morning coffee or tea so you know the rest of your day will continue in joy. You always have a choice. Please choose wisely, dear ones. The quickening upon the earth is bringing all your nightmares to the surface and you may feel very confused if you have not released the old core issues. Be aware there is help at hand through those healers about you and take the opportunities that will help you to stand in the new vibrations as a clear channel of light and love. Many angels are now incarnating to bring their unique gifts from the many parts of the universe to share. As they fold in the mid heavens to reconstruct space-time to help rejuvenate Earth, for change is necessary and constant. Your spirit cannot be made sick, afraid or feel unloved or in any kind of lack. The human self can let go now as the human angel or God begins to move and play and multitask in multiple time spaces at once. This is what you all came for, to bring something from the other worlds you had created and re-sculpted on earth so all could share in the experience. Such playful love allows the earth a new experience as well, a dream even beyond what you originally scripted together. If unconscious humanity begins to feel from the awakened ones and the children that they can create or precipitate whatever they want or need, then the fear power brokers of the old dream will soon be left alone with all their toys while the rest of the planet creates around them. Those who remain in the false dream can join and serve the original dream again. If they have the stamina and enough pure essence DNA left to sustain their life force. If the core of the being is threatened by giving up its identity of judgment, blame, control, then how can the identity feel safe enough to remember, maintain or birth its connection to spirit? But for now, this is where the old dreamers derive happiness, while you are remembering that happiness is an internal state of being, where no person, circumstance or event will give you that. There is no judgment on any of this, just the physics of creational energies. Can you give yourself permission to write a new script with your new enlightened selves in new vibrational bodies, in new experiences of trust, making it up as you go along? This is exactly what you did when you left your cosmic sun to learn to become physical creators. You are the awakeners, creators and uncreators 
of worlds and universes, sculptures of new life, who continue to receive new seeds of consciousness. You play with them, touch, taste, dream, incubate, travel and map, make these new blends while sharing, blessing and multiplying these symbolic energies in the world so that others can ground them into their new creations. Again, this is the magic of creating. It pressures the old energies in your body's hand and hard wiring as cosmic electricity or primordial desire shatters what can no longer be endured in a higher, more potent experience of love. A holographic union in a holographic library where all your truths can find their way to expression. So with the new moon there is always a time for new beginnings. What is your new path, your new creation? new ideas. Go and create, dear ones, and enjoy your new life's creation and vibration as it has lifted much higher. As I leave you now, with peace in your heart and love all through your being, which I embrace you always, you are never alone. You may call on me as I am at your service. I am Isis. Namaste. I thank you, Isis. I love you and thank you all for being here today. Namaste.